Alrighty, continuing on our journey here, we have um, we have brushes, Zem Premium brushes. I like their display. We have Care on Demand Sculptural Medium. Hi. No pictures. No pictures. <laughs> Dude, that's bad for business. Oh, I'm joking. <laughs> so tell me about, I am filming, by the way, if you don't mind. I don't mind. Great. Tell me about Cure on Demand Sculptural Medium. What the heck does that even mean? It means you get what you want when you want it. I like that. So like video on demand? Yes. Cure on demand. Okay. It's, it's a material that does not require any mixing. Okay. So it's not like a... Uh, two-part epoxy. Okay. It does not require to be baked all the way through like a normal polymer like clay. Like a clay, right. It's more of a self-baking material because there's a chemical reaction. So it's very similar to dental filling material. Oh! Except it's heat activated. So what you can do is really fast is make a little um, cameo. Okay. Let's make a cameo. Just grab a little bit of it, stuff it into a silicone mold, and it would sit here indefinitely without drying out or reacting. Oh, okay. <laughs> but all I have to do is I have to heat the surface of it up to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So any kind of heating tool. And your regular crafty heat gun would yep, probably or, work. Yep. You don't have to like heat it all the way through. Nope. You're just getting nope. the surface. And you can see things over here like these sorts of things. This was done. <gasps> oh, no way. There's no wires in there. This is all done freestanding. This rat tail. You know, this is no, there's no wire or anything in there. Extremely strong. It's six times stronger than other than like sculpture. So it's not. Is it a polymer type clay? What well, it, it actually makes. It is actually polymerizing. Okay. So you don't start okay. with the polymer and make it. We're actually making the polymer, and you'll see that what as it goes, you can actually watch it. It's reacting. I see it. It's doing funky stuff. I'm seeing like a. Yeah. yeah. So here it is. It's hard. Right. And that's soft. And so. As that spreads out, in a millisecond or something, it goes from soft to hard. And I'm just heating wow. it up, and it's going to propagate down. Right. So. Oh, that's fascinating. And now we'll just let it go a little bit to make sure it gets all the way down to the bottom of the mold. Okay, and you're wearing gloves. Is this, will talk to me about toxicity, that type of thing? Definitely don't want to get it in your mouth. Don't it, eat it. Okay. Don't eat it. It can irritate some people's skin. Okay. It can, makes it itchy. Itchy? Okay. Right. But it's not a carcinogen or a mutagen. Okay. So just like your typical craft product, just be cautious. Right. I know. Most people who use it don't buy gloves, but probably because right. I've been working with it for years, I find it makes my hands a little itchy. Right. <laughs> so, that's, so I just did that. So. Plus you get the cool, you know, black gloves. That yeah. Just look, yeah, they just have that look. And so now it's done. Oh, wow. So this is now about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, okay. But you can use that to your advantage. You can put a embossing powder on it. Oh, look. <gasps> It just like self embossed. Yep. And then of course it's extremely strong. I mean, it, I mean, you would not be able to break it. That thing, that it like holds heat like crazy because you did not heat it that long. With well, the no. The reason is because it's actually generating its own heat. It makes its own heat. Right. So here, like when I did these reactions here, I was demonstrating. It. You started here. You heat one end, and it just spreads all the way down the end. It's like a burning it, it cigar. It does the work for you. Yep. Yep. That's why some kid described it as self baking. Self baking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the same way that when, once you light wow. something, you don't have to keep heating it. It'll take off. It's yeah. the exact same. In fact, I'm a chemistry professor, and so the kind of things you study is the mathematics of this are exactly the same as something burning. Right. Right. So, and it'll take about six minutes. It'll get down to be a. Yeah. But it's not so hot that it'll burn you. It's just. It's not like touching a baking sheet. You just, right. You just, you know, you can hold it. And you feel, yeah. oh, that's hot. I should this put that one. down. Okay. So, does this come in colors? Does it come in one color? Can it you color in, it after? You can what? definitely. You ask a lot of questions. I do. And <laughs> you, you are just not keeping up with me. <laughs> it comes in natural or charcoal. Okay, natural or charcoal but for your light mo or dark options. Because most people have liked doing it themselves with either putting on a pigment first, like Perlex, right. and then it just fuses right into it, so all these were done, or painting it afterwards with things like Rub and Buff, or and to give a patina. Yeah. 
whatever they want to do. So they're usually painting it afterwards. Wow. It could be sanded, drilled. Machined. That was my next question. You, See, put, you didn't even let me ask it. You, you put your pin in it, and I've got your in seconds. You have yourself a handsome. Uh, oh, you don't even, you don't have to glue the pin back. No, no, just stick it right in. Just stick it. Oh so my god. It just bonds gosh. right into it. You can't do that with your sculpey. No. And then um, what else is great about it? Um, and you can actually you've got you can roll designs. I was doing into that. Kevin, it. let me those from next door. Yep. Yeah. You can, or use these. You know, use whatever you use the pattern of polymer clay. Oh, okay. These are all over the place now. The, the cake decorators like these little. Well, that's where I. These, a lot of these were. That's exactly. Are they cake decorating? Yes. That's <laughs> yeah. probably why they do really. Or you can make do a two part silicone mold off of some object you want. Right. And that's what I did here. I had done that off a wood design and then made the silicone mold and then did it here. Awesome. So that's what a lot of these jewelry were done. People took some object they found, made a silicone mold, and then pressed it in. And all these things here were done that way. Wow. I am just so impressed. I had no idea. Okay. Um, where would could one go about acquiring this in a retail situation? A retail situation? Yes, a retail situation. is you. I have three stores right now carrying retail okay. or from my website. Your website. That's what I need to know. Will I find that on your you card? Will, you your, will find it on whatever you like. On whatever. Uh, my pocket like. protector. Would you like? I want a pocket protector. There you go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Look. Oh, this is exciting. Need a pocket protector. Like the one piece of swag that I'm most excited about is the pocket protector. <laughs> I have the. I claim the world's largest collection of pocket protectors. Do you? Over 1,800. No way. You have like all of the pocket protectors. No, not yet. <laughs> There can't be more. <laughs> there are. Every that is so funny. When I had 500, my wife said, is that enough? I said, that's not the attitude that got us to the moon. <laughs> no, I'm not done. <laughs> okay. 3P Quick Cure Clay. I'm the P. Poyman Polymer Product. Poyman? Is the way you pronounce it? Poyman. Poyman? So I'm actually the 3P product. CEO. Three... <laughs> You deserve the pocket protector. <laughs> that is all I'm going to say about that. Right, so let's okay, see. Mr. Poyman here is going to uh, show us. I don't even know what. He just said something about glowing, and then, you know, he had me at glow. I don't know what happens now. but um, Let's watch a glow-in-the-dark powder. And I'm going to put this as a... UnitedNuclear.com. United Nuclear. Servicing all your home nuclear needs. Oh, okay. I think I have some of that in my medicine cabinet. And I'm, my viewers are going to ask, and I'm just going to tell you, don't breathe that. Whatever that was, don't breathe it. Well, it has nuclear on the label. No, it's Duh. just a, it's a, Duh. It's a europium-based <laughs> glow-in-the-dark powder. Yeah, we can't pronounce it. Don't eat it demonstrate here that I don't need to heat all the way through. I just need to kind of start the reaction on one end. Now, is this light you're shining on it? Is that a regular? No. Well, it just is. You could fluorescent light. A fluorescent light will work? Okay. Yes. Sunlight works great. And you're just heating the end. And then you'll see I'm just charging up this glow-in-the-dark compound. is not propagating just flat. It's actually propagating known as a giant helix, or it'll pulsate. And you can image it very clearly with it, where wow. you see it glow. So I this, see. Yeah, it shows up. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, so this is done. And just in that region there, it's going from soft to hard. That is fascinating. Now, isn't that a great example of steam? Science, technology, <laughs> engineering, art, and <laughs> Move. Yeah, that's why we call it. It's a frontal polymerization. Why, why, is, why are more things not made out of this? This could just have all kinds of uses. Well, that's, the, that's why I'm here. Yeah, why doesn't the whole world know about you? <laughs> that's what I want to know, because this is just fascinating. It is. I just love watching this. Will it go all the way to the end? Yes, it will. will it give out? It no, does, it no. doesn't like burn out. No. Nope. It goes all the way. You just all you have to do is yeah, so it I do, to get it started. Yeah, so you can do a complex sculpture, start at one end and all the way through. 
no. Sometimes if it's, you know, you get too narrow an area, right. it might quench and you start it again. But you don't have to use a blowgun. You could really use a lighter. A lighter would do it. Yeah, you just, gotta, you just gotta get one end hot. Wow. So I have students in the lab studying different geometries and how these reactions propagate. Yeah. It's a, if it's a, a cylinder, you get these helices. If it's a, a monolith, you'll get zigzags. Right. Strongly. And amazingly, there's a lot of theory already worked out on this. Wow. Uh, on how reaction fronts propagate as right. a function of geometry. So for years, I was trying to make systems that would do this, and now they all do it. So it's a, it's a function of the chemistry that we figured out. That is fascinating. I just can't wrap my mind around, you know, it, that it's still heating, that it doesn't burn out. Well, just like when you light a piece of paper, it gets it hot, goes, the heat spreads, which right. causes a reaction. It's the exact same thing. It's a very exothermic reaction, and we can see here if you want to... What, 280 degrees? It's an exothermic polymerization reaction. Exothermic polymerization. 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 That is a mouthful. I don't understand any of it, but I am. Fascinated by it. Well, if you've ever done Bondo, it actually gets quite hot. Yes, I have used some yeah. some two part yep. Yep. things that, yep. that do heat up. Yep. It never occurred to me that it was possible in this type of prolonged right. situation. So the key here is, right. want, is to have it so it has a long pot light. Those right. things you mix, they don't have a very long pot light. Right? They'll say, well, you got five minutes and it's going right. to yeah. But they get, you get pretty hot. This is designed specifically to have the long pot light that you have to initiate it. Wow. So we keep going or do we peter out? I don't know why we petered out. Well, let's start from the other end so we can burn yeah. the whole thing. Thing I found you today. If I found you yesterday, I would have just been sitting here for the day. <laughs> <laughs> kind of been all Everything throat. I make is always looks in this long <laughs> turd shape because I like to just watch them. I'll sit in the garage and just watch them. Yeah, it's a good it's a demonstrating shape. <laughs> well, it's just, it is. And here I've been playing around with these dichro films from. Uh, oh, the uh, she stuck to my arm here a minute ago. Here it is. Yes, yes. Yes. Well, Joe. they were they were great because she was having trouble with. They, they just, oh, look. It was just, the heat of the reaction was just fusing it right on. Yes, we played with some of those in our booth, and I was asking her, you know, how heat resistant are they? Because yeah, yeah. we, we crafters like our heat tools, and she goes, well, not very, because they kind of, you know, yeah, kind of warm. But. I just stuck it right on there, and yeah, then actually, the heat actually just, just fused it right to the clay. Oh, it's like faux dichroic yeah. jewelry do, 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 instead do, do, of dichroic do, do, glass. Oh, wow. How about 3D? That, <laughs> that is so fun. <laughs> yeah, I was just playing around with this earlier. They gave me something. I said, well, I'll try it out for you. Now I'm going to have to run over to her booth and get some samples because I've got your samples. Yep. And I really do think we need to make a faux dichroic pendant. Yeah, well, I think that would look nice because it really does. It really do. Yeah, yeah. And it was, I mean, I just did that in... Maybe put some uh, Pearl X. You know, you, can I mix the Pearl X in the... Uh, what is this, clay? What do you call this? Yeah, quick your clay. clay. Can, can I mix some Pearl X in there before, or is that going to mess up the heat? Uh, depends how much you put in. I, okay. it's, it's probably better to just put it on the surface. On the surface? Because you're right. 
you have the possibility of it uh, messing up the ratio. Right, of, and yeah. also it tends to someone like the embossing powders, it it'll tend to kind of bubble. Right. But okay. The answer is try it. Try it, and I love that. Yeah. I'm the worst all that, that happens is it won't work, and then or you have to heat it more. Right. Yeah. Right. But it might interfere with the propagation. It might not. But now we've got a nice little. Look at a nice little, <laughs> very warm. It's, it's warm. Very warm little. It's tartlet. also you could yeah. you could make a plate and make a self cooking plate. Wow. The army wasn't interested, but I. They, oh. Well, they, it was just too, for them. No, no, it was too expensive. They liked the idea. Oh, that was cheapskate. Yeah, yeah. It just was. It, it doesn't give up enough. It, it, it was a very kind of expensive. Cost way to prohibitive. Do it. Right. For them. Which they're you know when they make MREs they're making millions of them. This is true. Right. This so is it was true. about I think it was about ten times too expensive for. What? <laughs> <laughs> so okay. it wasn't like close. Well, you work on that, you know. <laughs> but no, they gave me the calculation. They said calculate this. And they said, came back and said, no, nope, you're off by a factor of ten. We just factor of ten. Work. But it's yeah. a good idea, but it's not going to work. Wow. But it was a neat idea. I, yeah, it created I could a see. lifelong love of MREs. I can imagine. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> so my wife said, if it weren't for me, you and John, or some of you'd be living in your own filthy MREs every day. <laughs> and very happy too. <laughs> Well, Mr. Poyman, thank you so very much. I appreciate it. You got my card. You got everything. And did I, um, is that, that's not you. Is that you? I don't Here, you want to, you, oh, wait, the there you are. Instruction sheet. I got you. Yes, I better have an instruction sheet.